I'm not upset, man. Use a bluff. I'ma show them all what happens when you play around with my trust. Whoa. First things first, I was throwing hands the moment that you hit me up, talking on some solid bullshit. Tell me why you seem defensive when my words are making sense. You get defensive like I'm trying to take a goal kick. But I'm not in my feels, bro. I'm pissed off. I'm not lying, though. I'm puzzled like a jigsaw. Got so much going on, so I don't do school. Check my grades, you see F like a kickbox. Why you trying to make me sound obsessed, though? Better hope I don't put out the text, though. Maybe what is going on buff duck racing my name is riley kent last week i got a 125 and i raced it well last video i've actually had it for about two weeks now but i liked it so much that i got another one check this out right right there new one anyways um it is a 2021 tc 125 my other 125 is a 2020 tc 125 so this one is completely stock from the the whole bike is completely stock. It actually only has six hours on it. and But with this bike, it has different suspension. So it's geared toward a little bit softer of a rider when this one's, this one's just stock. Anyway, so the suspension is going to have to change on this guy soon. I have FMFs for both of them coming. The FMF Fatty, it's the um, non-plated version. So it'll be kind of like the CR pipe. And then they have the titanium silencers to go with them. So those will be pretty cool. Those will be on next video. Other than that, this bike is super clean, completely stock from top to bottom. And I'm gonna race it, not race, I'm gonna ride it tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to Route 62. Again, one of my favorite tracks. I really enjoy riding there. I'm gonna take both bikes really to compare the suspension because they are the identical bike. So comparing suspension, seeing which one I like better so I could switch the other one to the other one suspension. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. So I'll catch you guys in the morning in about one second. Ooh, chilly, chilly, chilly. Freezing cold outside this morning. I tell you what, boys. It's gonna be a cold one. Probably riding. Gosh dang it. With a sweatshirt on. Anyways, morning boys, probably only been a second for you, but it's been quite a few hours for me. Lighting, loading these three bikes, two of them going in my truck, and then the other one, Noah, is taken. Hey folks, starting off the day right, 28 degrees now, beautiful sun. We've got the old clapped out 18250. I know she's only got about 43 hours on her, but clapped she, out? she's clapped. Stickers are coming off, that's how. Also, We've got the practice 125 sitting over there looking all beautiful. We got a brand new 125 sitting over there. We're gonna see how they how they go. They've got different suspension and Riley's gonna ride them. And I'm not, because I can't ride motocross. Alrighty, the gang is all here today at Route 62 for some good practice sessions. Test out the new 125 as well. Fourth lap of practice, I was riding, I actually don't remember riding, but I was riding. I hit the triple in the back of Route 62, cased it, hit my head on this pad, and then flew over the front of the bike with the bike coming with me. Got knocked out. Um, I don't remember riding that day at all. I remember going to the track, I don't ever remember. Hopping on my bike is the weirdest feeling ever. Anyways, I woke up and um, I was kind of in a daze. I don't really remember that either, but I got into an ambulance, went to the hospital, got all checked out. Nothing major actually happened, thankfully. I did get a concussion and hurt my wrists and ankles, and my neck is extremely sore right now along with my back. Slowly healing up is like a few days later after that, but um, Brandon, everyone else continued to ride, thankfully. that. They stayed there and got a little bit more footage. So here's a few clips of Brandon.
Then after that day was over, actually last weekend I was in Tennessee, so I didn't film anything last weekend, but I gave Jackson my GoPro, so he got a few clips when they went to Briarcliff last weekend, so here's a few of those clips, they're pretty funny. What's going on, fuggin'? Well guys, it's Friday. Me and Brandon and Connor are supposed to be, we're either going to East Fork or Briarcliff tomorrow. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty fun. We'll see ya. We're at Briarcliff. Day's going pretty good, it's hot. Not right. I'm getting, getting faster. Jackson and Connor racing, pretty good. Oh yeah, oh yes. How's the bike performing today? Nah, it's all right. Yeah. Need a sandwich? Are you sucking beer out of tits? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, what about you? No, what man? Honestly, the track's pretty rough out there. The triple's pretty, pretty, pretty hard, but you just ride the C track, you're good. When I got back from the hospital though, a few things showed up in the mail, like this freaking beautiful FMF with the blue titanium exhaust. Looks so good. I have a few really cool videos planned coming up very soon, some really funny ones, something different. So it is the end of season, so the footage is gonna kinda start to change, gonna be a lot more quad content, which I know a lot of you like, and a lot more I don't know, just different content because the track days are kind of coming to an end, which is sad. Going to be hitting the 2021 season super strong, though, especially riding the 125s. Can't wait for that. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this week's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you're new, please make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Spread the word. Almost to 2,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Anyways, spread the word. See you guys next Tuesday. Thank <laughs> you.